Wow. It was sunny about two and a half hours ago and I was all here for it. Welcome back to a video, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, a couple crazy things have happened. One, uh, well here, let's start off with this. Ain't no Mustang for now. Um, the Mustang is in an uh, interesting stage as you can see behind me. But I told you guys, it's, it's a little windy so if you can't hear me, I apologize. I told you guys I'd be getting another truck very soon. And I wasn't lying. Welcome to the channel, the new to me, 2007 and a half third gen Cummins. Now I'm very happy with this truck and I will give you the rundown on why. I needed something I can work out of on the side, I do welding. So I was like, hey, I need a truck that I can work out of and go make lots of money while I'm not doing, you know, uh, other things. Check out how clean this truck is, guys. Immaculate, immaculate, nothing, not even a bubble of rust. Go all the way around the truck. There's a dent here that kind of bugs me. There's some pan imperfections. Obviously, it's an 07. It's not a perfect truck, but it is very cool for an 07. It's got some little nicks and dings up front. If you come around here, it's it's really clean. There is not a wrong. There is a small dent on this side, as you guys can possibly see. But other than that, it is an immaculate truck. Now, I got this truck for a pretty fair price. I wasn't looking for a good deal, but I am planning on keeping this truck for a long time. It is in great condition. It sounds good. It looks good. And uh, it's a great truck to work out of. It's a great truck to daily. It's a great truck to haul things out of. So I'm very, very excited to be the new owner of this truck. I got motivated and I started working on the 5.0. A couple 5.0s on Instagram came up that I absolutely started drooling over. And then next thing you know, I'm tearing mine apart to uh, work on it. If you guys have watched my previous video when I was in Phoenix, I did uh, do a walk around over the car and I showed the paint perfections where the front end was pretty messed up. And so I went, well, I, I guess I sanded down the whole car. So I sanded down the whole car getting it ready for paint. Um, the whole thing is sanded down right now. The hood is ready to go, the fenders, everything but the trunk is ready to go at the moment, trunk and bumpers. And yeah. I don't even know what to say. It's it's crazy. I this car has been down for a couple weeks now, and it's very disappointing because I really want it back. And uh, there's a little bit more work to go, but we have made lots of progress. So I this it's gonna be a short and sweet video. I need to get this out, get all this crap off, finish this, and then sand down the whole bumpers and side skirts. Right now what I needed to do is I need to get a racer tool for uh, all this nonsense that Ford uses. And then I needed to, I think that's it for now. So yeah, let's go ahead and go get some stuff. I know. You don't have to tell me it sounds good. I already know that. I already know that. It is deleted. This truck is deleted with a five inch, four, four inch straight pipe all the way back to a, you know, you can't drive a diesel without a big tip. So it's got, it's got the big tip and everything that needs to come along with that. We're going to go to uh, AutoZone or something and get that silly eraser wheel. I don't know if you guys have ever bought one of those, but they're so expensive for no reason. Advanced Auto Parts, right there. First strike out of the day. Getting your hands on one of these eraser wheels seems to be like the most impossible thing ever. One of my dream cars, right there. Ladies and gents. Ladies and gents, five years. Five years, I'll have a CTSV. I don't care what generation, I don't care what year, as long as it has a cam. Alrighty. We went in hopes for an eraser wheel. We struck out completely. She is, ladies and gents, the absolutely ruined 5 -0. Did I ruin the car? Or do you guys see it come back? I see it come back. It's going to be absolutely incredible when it is done. But right now, it is a mess. And I hate it. I guess what I wanted to make this video about, and very clearly the video has been made about that, is this car is underway. And I am ordering parts for it. 
Uh, actually, as soon as I pull this thing around right there, I am going to go downstairs, order parts, and then I gotta go finish some work. But I am getting the car done, and I'm going to be making videos. Sam, you guys remember, Sam is gonna help me finish up the car. He's very skilled in body work, very skilled in pay work, good homie, always willing to help, and he is gonna help me finish this project the way it should be done. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, see you guys later, but that's it for today. The 5.0 is being progress and I'm excited to uh, have it done here soon hopefully in a week or two so see you guys next video peace